Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI. So today, very interesting story in The Economist. Hat tip to them. So the title of this article is What Happened to the AI Investment Boom? So we've talked about venture capital many times because venture capital is the engine that is driving the AI revolution. Why? Because aside from the huge tech companies like Google and Microsoft and Facebook, now Meta, startups are driving AI. Startups are coming up with new AI applications. This is OpenAI. OpenAI is a venture funded startup and whole new applications for AI. So, here is what we have talked about with venture capital a bunch this year, which is 2021 represented an all-time peak in venture capital investment. Then you may remember that inflation took off in late 2021 and really accelerated in 2022. And that's when all the recession chatters started, which of course was total BS. However, that chatter started to put the damper on AI investment. Why? Because wealthy people who give money to venture capital firms in order to earn a high return on that money, but it's high risk, they can lose their whole investment or they can make a killing. So they, the, the wealthy people started cutting back on venture capital in 2022 because of recession fears that accelerated in 2023. So the amount of money raised by VC firms from 2021 dropped significantly in 2022 by about a third from the peak and then dropped half from 2022 into 2023. So this is the big macro environment of what's happening. And with fewer people, wealthy people, putting money into venture capital, that meant venture capital had to throttle back on their investments. The other thing that's happened that's very important to this is that the stock market crash of 2022 froze what they call exits, which is the companies are either sold and bought by someone else or they go public. And in the venture world, in a healthy venture market, the majority of them go public. So what does that exit mean? It means that the venture capital firm gets money back and they give the investors money back. So that didn't happen last year. And that's what led to this crash in venture investment. <laughs> So that's why this title of this article is a little misleading. The AI investment boom has not stopped. The venture capital world has changed dramatically. So venture capital as a whole is down probably two thirds now from the peak in terms of new investment, which is huge. That's a huge drop. Venture investment is back to where it was all the way back in 2017, which is a long time ago now. But of the part that is still occurring, the vast majority of it is still being invested in AI. Why? Because everyone knows that's the next place to make a killing. And AI is therefore sucking up most venture funding that's still happening along with the AI affiliated technologies like sensors and robotics. And that's going to continue. That's definitely going to continue. Why? Because many uh, Wall Street types who are wrong all the time, by the way, just like they were all wrong about a recession, say that AI is going to lead to, lead to a massive productivity boom. And that productivity boom is going to create trillions in wealth. I would say that's likely to happen, uh, but over time, right? We're talking trillions over the next 15 years. So let's read a little more of this article. Many economists believe that generative AI is about to transform the global economy. 
A paper published last year by Epic, a research firm, argues that explosive growth with G GDP gross domestic zooming upwards is plausible with AI capable of broadly substituting for human behavior. So that's what this research firm says. This is why I started the AI guide. This is coming and it's coming to all professions, but not yet. The article goes on to say, for such an economic transformation to take place, companies need to spend big on new software, communications, factories, and equipment, enabling AI to slot into their production processes. And to be straight with you, AI adoption in manufacturing is occurring much slower than it is in many other sectors of the economy. Why? Because it's hard. And I've done a couple of videos on that. It's really hard. So it takes more time. An investment boom was necessary to allow previous technological breakthroughs, such as the tractor or personal computer, to spread across the economy. So basically what they're saying is, why aren't we seeing this same bump in investment across the whole economy? Well, because AI is much easier to implement in some situations than in others, that's why. So where is AI easy to implement? Into software, why? Because AI is software. Into software that reads medical tests, into software that analyzes medical data to look for new drugs, into software that enables autonomous vehicles. So software is broadly and rapidly adopting AI. So is robotics, so is sensors. But AI is separate and connected to these robotics and sensors. What they're talking about in manufacturing is different. AI in that case has to be directly integrated into the process. Again, that's much harder, takes much longer, and is much more expensive than implementing AI into other software. So it will happen. And what that research firm Epic said will happen, but it will take time. Heavy automation of manufacturing will take until the decade of the 2030s. But by then, many, many other sectors of the economy will be dominated by AI, medicine, law, transportation, and much more. Now, a final comment on venture. Venture will come back. Venture capital is cyclical, just like all other financial investment types like private equity are. They're all cyclical. We're at, at or near the bottom of the cycle of venture capital. When it comes back, when more and more of these venture funded companies are able to be sold or to go public, then venture capital will swing the other way and go to, into a huge up cycle driven by AI. So as always, we like to give you the balanced view and the human impact. The human impact over time of AI is going to be truly dramatic. That's why I started this channel. But in the near term, it will do what people are saying. It will enable you to do your work better, but only for those who are able to learn to use AI in their work. For those who are not, I'm sorry to say they will become unemployed first. So thanks so much. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. A dollar or two a month makes a huge difference to the AI guide here. So thanks so much. Take care. See you next time. Bye.